So, we're going to switch to collectibles. So, you're probably wondering why I have a newspaper in front of me. Well, this is from June 11th, 2004. This is 15 years old, still intact. And you're probably wondering, what the hell happened June 11th, 2004? Well, for one, I graduated in June of 2004. So, I've been out of high school for 15 years. Also... Ray Charles died this day 15 years ago. So, yeah, this is 15 years ago from, you know, 2004. And also, this is a double whammy newspaper as well. Because Ronald Reagan also died 15 years ago on this day. On that day. So, yeah, this was in my uh, trunk with uh my baby stuff and my mother was going through it and she was throwing away stuff that had you know fallen apart or um it just was it wouldn't hold together anymore and all that and there's nancy reagan who passed away uh i want to say one to two years ago as well so yeah so, I have this intact. I was going to cut out the articles that were important for it, but I decided not to. Hold on. Stop. Okay. There. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have other papers on the other side that were making noise. Uh, so, yeah. There's some history for you. Ray Charles and Ronald Reagan died on the same day, June 11, 2004. Crazy. Oh man. And he was 73. I don't know how old Ronald Reagan was though. I think he was eh, 80 something maybe. I don't know. And he had a retard in charge back then. <laughs> so there's that. I have more. If you don't know what this is, she's too old for you. And he's too old for you as well. So, yeah, this is a TV guide for those of you who don't know what the hell a TV guide is. This is from 1991. What a TV guide is, it tells you what's on TV. Legitimately. There you go. That's what a TV guide used to look like. And this is still intact. 28 years later. Crazy. Stop. So yeah, this is completely intact. I mean, the pages are faded a little bit. Well, not faded, but the coloring on them, you know, like, let me see, that's not showing up. It looks brand new on camera, but from my view, it is uh, yellow. So, yeah, it's got weathering to it. Oh, you can see the yellow if I have it at the sun. But, yeah, this is what we used to buy. There's the gate. There's the grid. Give me that grid. Give me the grid. Oh, you dirty bastard. Ah, the grid. <laughs> There's the grid. So there's that. TV Guide from my era, the 90s. And also from the 90s, we got a Batman plate that I had when I was a kid. Yep. Still intact. It needs scrubbed right there, but I don't want to 
scrub it and this is from 92 so Batman Returns this is 27 years old I love it not for microwave use however I did use this in the microwave a lot so it's still intact another bullshit myth they put on you about putting stuff in the microwave but the thing that's really cool about this is the art on this how it's still intact 27 years later I love it You can see it a little bit of scruff there. So. Mm. So there's Batman plate and Batman plate ain't complete without Batman placemat. Oh yeah, I got a placemat too, bitch. The only thing that's the only issue with this is it's warped from time and being in the trunk. See, it's I'll show you. It had heavy stuff on it, so it's got that and whatever. But still, the art is intact. The only thing that's a little bit faded is uh, something rubbed off on this. Oh, I know it rubbed off on it. Um, I had a Sesame Street placemat as well, so that was on top of it, so that probably rubbed off there. But other than that, if I was to put some heavy books on this and flatten it for about a week, yeah, it would still, it would be good again. And, you know, it's authentic because it's got that Batman holographic sticker. Oh yeah, 1991. Nice. But this is... 1992 it's new I'm triggered <laughs> so yeah the art on this is phenomenal like you can tell it's got scuffs and shit but still it's awesome and this is not for sale and now there's the other stuff this is staying in my collection cause yeah <laughs> I mean how cool is that though like look at the detail like, just the detail, like, down to the logo on his boot. That's awesome. Even the facial detail on Penguin is spot on. This is always cool. So, that's the stuff in my collection. That I'm, that's, you know, added to it again. So, we got a placemat, we got a matching plate, we got a TV guide, and we got a double death newspaper for Ray Charles and oh, Ronald Reagan. So, I will be back with a movie review, so stay tuned.